Someone in this room murdered Alistair Crane. Well, it could be any of us. Well, my money is on Teresa. I mean, she got rid of a husband she detested. And now her son, little Ethan, owns the Crane Empire. That's if Alistair didn't change his will, which she did, Rebecca, three times a week. Well, Teresa's not the only one with motive. Hell, I freely admit, uh, I despised the old bastard. Wait. No, I despised him more. He was a vicious monster. Wait, wait, wait. He did destroy my family. As far back as I can remember, he was always a cold-blooded bastard. Not only did he destroy everyone he came in contact with, he took pleasure in doing so. He was sadistic and depraved, and I hated him more than anyone I've ever known. Well, I'm glad he's dead. Then I don't have to live with his torture anymore. Oh, I am with you on that, girl. I mean, he has not been good in bed for ages. Oh. It is. You're free now, mija. He can never hurt us again, and your brothers. Luis and Antonio can now rest in peace. I never thought this day would come. Yeah. Grandmother, he was your husband. Oh, come on, Fancy. The old goat got what he deserved. Maybe we should drive a stake through his heart to make sure he doesn't rise from the dead. Yes, Sheridan, not you, too. Of course, me, too. He can no longer hurt anyone that I love ever again. Everything will be all right now. Well, so far, 2006 has been a great year. Alistair was a bastard, and I'm glad he's dead. Gwen, you can't condone murder. Well, in this case, I can. In fact, I hope whoever did the dirty deed just keeps on going. There's at least two people in this room I wouldn't miss. Rebecca. Though I do admit, someone as evil as Alistair doesn't deserve to live. Oh, I'll drink to that. Me too. I can't believe my ears. Grampy is dead. Murdered. And you're all happy about it? You make jokes? You're right. It's not a time for humor. It's a time for deep, heartwarming joy. That blood better come out of my good carpet, old man, or I'm going to bury you in the pet cemetery. I think that would be little Ethan's good carpet, Rebecca. You're not praying for Alistair Soul, are you? In a way, I'm praying God will treat Alistair's soul with justice. Well, then he must be roasting as we speak. Mm. Grandfather? Dr. Russell, I think he's alive. Fancy, honey, that's not possible. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I just heard him breathe. Check him out, right now. No, I don't feel him. There, he just breathed again. He is alive. Oh, for Pete's sake. No, no, it's, it's probably just some gas escaping. something. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Maybe. No. No, it's there. It's a pulse. Oh. It's very, very weak, but it's there. Well, well, why didn't you feel a pulse before? Maybe she was trying not to. Mm, just a suggestion, but perhaps if we all leave the room for a while, the pulse might just go away. Mother! I think we should put a pillow over his face. You already tried that, and it didn't work. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, we could open the windows, and then he would freeze to death. You're fiends. Dr. Russell, you've got to help Grampy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Wake up. You saw what he did to poor Jessica. Nobody here gives a damn about that bastard, right? Just let him die. I can't explain why he did what he did to Jessica, but he's still my Grampy. To hell with all of you. I'm calling 911. Fancy, you're not going to be able to get anybody out of here. What a pity. What did Alistair ever do to you? Well, your father knows something about Liz's past. <sighs> My. It seems everyone in this town has a little secret. Any luck? Not yet. Oh, cross your fingers, there's no way to get help. 
Please, Dr. Russell, he has to die. I couldn't bear it if he lives. Look at that wound. I bet he's in excruciating pain. The same pain he's caused me and my family. Jiggle that knife just a teeny little bit. It would hurt even more. I can't even get a line out of here. There's nothing but static. That's that then. He's a goner. Oh, you know, maybe Teresa can whip up some of her special guacamole. <laughs> That'll perk him up. Oh, you're disgusting. We can't just stand here and watch him die. Perhaps we could adjourn to the solarium for a few hands of bridge. <gasps> We could get five tables going. Dr. Russell, you are a doctor. You took an oath. No matter what your personal feelings are, you have to try to save his life. 